what's going on guys cassandra here and today i'm bringing you guys a story time and q a so as many of you guys have seen my previous video where i met the starting out triplets and it's more so a montage so i want to just give a story time story time of my whole day and explain it a bit so i will also be doing a q a of some of the questions you guys have about me and some questions you guys had about my last video and just the tour overall stick around for that and let's get into the video sunday a week ago um is when the tour happened the first day and like everyone else i paid for my ticket i expected the same treatment as everyone else maybe just a bigger reaction uh, to seeing me because well i have been talking to them online for almost a year and we have not met so yeah i was just excited to meet them uh i was very nervous tell anyone that i'm friends with and they'll tell you that i was thinking of the worst things and the day comes i am getting ready and i get a message i get a message from them saying that they'll hook me up with a backstage pass i thought that's so cool you know like the little add-on that there was i wasn't able to get it so you know it's cool that they would do that for me because um they just appreciate all the work i put into starting all the news i was very excited for that and they told me it would be at the box office so where you could purchase like the ga ticket and when i get there um because my parents dropped me off um i go to the box office but there's nothing so i get in line get my wristbands um and then i meet up with my friends that i was there with i told one of the people that were giving out the wristbands about the backstage pass and the man asked me if i'm the big um fan account and i said yes so he gives me the all axis little lanyard and i was hyped then laura messages me saying if i got it and i said yes thank you because i mean that's crazy so then a couple minutes after she messages me to go to the front so much is going through my mind i'm just in awe so i tell my friends i gotta go to the front you know they're telling me to go to the front they're all excited for me so i go to the front and i see laura i love laura she is the best and she is just inspirational to say the least and you no know, we say hi she took me to the sound check where all the boys were i had my drink with me because i always have my coffee i had to throw that away because i was thinking if i'm gonna meet them right now i don't want to hug them with my cup that'd be a bit awkward in my mind so i throw that away and as I'm turning to like, well, the trash can, where the trash can is, it was by the booth where I was sitting later in the story. Um, so I throw that away, turn around. I see Nick like running to me and he gives me like the biggest hug. And after him comes Matt and then Chris. And uh, yeah, we see our highs, we give hugs. They wanted to just sh show me around. So. They first asked me if I wanted to be in the vlog, and I of course said yes, like, hello? And they put me in the vlog. This is the part, roll it. So let's show Guys, Cassandra what's going down. She gets the first access Should on we it. explain who Cassandra is for those who don't yep. know? Yep, boom. So, wait, what would you say self-explain uh, yourself as? Yeah. Um, Num maybe number one fan page for us? I think so, I highest followed. Yes. <laughs> Most. So Cassandra runs a news account, a lot of you know what that is, a lot of you might not know who it is. But this is her in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> True. But so we're gonna show Sandra the small talk area for what's gonna happen today. This is so scary. Bro, just like bro, just sitting there. Welcome to day in the life on a tour bus, but this is the first day, so I'm waking up in my bed, showering like I do in my house, not doing my skincare because I packed it all, and then getting all my suitcases ready and bringing them to our front door because our tour bus is outside waiting for us. Here's our magical tour bus. And then I saw where I'm going to be spending the next 28 days in my cubby where I sleep. And then we head to the next show. Or the first show, actually, in L.A. 
and then we did a sound check right when we got there for lost and trill and then immediately after that we did some meet and greets and then after the meet and greets we did our show we thanked our friends for coming we had a special guest landing key which was amazing and then we did some more meet and greets that's cassandra our string of news and then we went to walmart right after the show to get the essentials like snacks towels toothbrushes and such um enjoyed some of the snacks from walmart once we hit the road then we decided we were also hungry and went to a mcdonald's but the mcdonald's will not serve us because the tour bus wouldn't fit in the drive through and the doors was locked so we went to burger king and i decided i'm sending chris in and not going and then they brought me my burger king me and maddie enjoyed that then i got in my cubby which i thought was for the night and then wrote in my journal but fun fact you cannot shit on tour buses so once we all had to use the bathroom we stopped at a gas station used the bathroom and then went back to bed and we are ready for you today arizona okay so that's the part after that they're doing sound sound check so um i'm watching like malcolm and trill do their thing which they are incredible at and then nick and maddie show me around like the upstairs where the backstage um thing happens and where they get a chill and all that okay after that me and maddie sat at the booths while they were doing the meet and greets we just talked we just looked at them because we were both just like very excited and happy for them because this is a big thing you know they've grown so much in the past year they were really cool. They treated me as, as I was just one of their friends, you know. So I didn't tell them, like, any big things I wanted to tell them. So, yeah, like, the most I think I've said was, like, how um, cool their brands were, like, Maddie and Chris. So I just told them that I loved um, Second Choice and Fresh Love, which I do. Most of our other conversations were like silly ones like um i they were talking about chicken pot pie and i said i never tr have tried it so they were all like in all looking at me because i've never had it and i didn't really know what it was so they gave me a place to try like a place to go to to try it so i'm scared but i'll try it mostly all i was doing was going up and down from backstage to behind um the pictures oliver came he was he's so funny and so cool i love him he's like energy uh, i showed them my camera which is this one um they liked my stickers and he took a picture of my camera because he's a photographer so he likes to admire other people's equipment as he said i really want to document this because i will forget I, like right now i'm just like trying to remember everything because everything happened so fast and i was just trying to live in the moment so that's why i also didn't vlog as much also because i was very very nervous like another reason why i didn't tell them like how much i appreciate them and all that and thank them was because i was very nervous um so this is the schedule that there was for the day so they were very very busy but after the meeting reads they had some time to um rest and then came the show, which I was at the balcony, insane, because um, Landon Cube was there, uh, Johnny was there, Laura, her assist assistant, Brenda, Maddie, Oliver, and then the, tr the triplets would come up um, to see Malcolm and, and um, Trill. So yeah, just like that point of view is insane. I'm pretty sure you guys saw some of the videos I took. Insane. The triplet show. Oh no. I take that back. Bef for the triplet show, I was um, at the booths. So that's where I took the video. But then for um, Malcolm and Trill's show, I was at the booth. So crazy that Landon was there because it's someone that they have like looked up to for so long and i was one of the first people to know that he was coming which is insane it was so cool just looking at them do their thing after the show and all that uh we just stayed backstage more took some pictures they got us on my um all access pass mostly we just chilled jack who is 
on top of all of the clothing for them um hooked it up with the merch so shout out to jack he also gave me the ring which i love uh, it's one of my prized possessions i gotta take a picture with him i'm blurring out my face not because i'm one of those people that blur my face but because i genuinely don't look good but he's such a sweet guy because after the second meet and greet um it was raining and my parents had still not come to pick me up so i stayed at the venue um with jack and the other crew crew members of his team yeah i stayed with them and well i stayed with jack until my parents picked me up and he's such a sweet guy he like gave me advice he told me some he showed me some of the behind the scenes of like how he works which is very inspiring like all the advice he took me i'm taking it into heart that was my day uh i know this is a short little story but i also don't want to say every specific detail um because you know it's dear to me i gotta see some little exclusive things so it was really cool and then for the q a part i just want to introduce myself to you guys i know lots of you guys are new i'm very thankful for all the support you guys have shown on my last video 12k views as of now i'm at 700 subscribers almost at a thousand utterly insane i'm so close to being monetized on youtube crazy to think um so yeah but my name is cassandra i'm 19 i turned 20 in july which is very scary to think about um I do go to college, I go to community college online because I'm studying to get my marketing degree so this fan page stuff that I'm doing could turn into my actual job in the future. I don't do much, like my hobbies consist of shopping, going on coffee walks, um, reading, poetry specifically, and just bettering myself. I have a cat that I freaking adore and love. And I live with my family. I have a brother, a sister, my mom and dad. And, and yeah, that's me to sum it up. Um, I have been a fan of the triplets for over a year now, I believe. Well, I started consistently watching them in February, but I found them in like late 2021 i believe so yeah um i started starting all the news in april and yeah that's mostly me now for the the questions okay for ga um for the tickets that are 129 you have to pay 20 dollars separately from the venue i know it sucks but uh, it's not unfair because some other shows are 149 So they're just I don't know why the venues want to separately charge $20 But yeah um, I would say pay it At the venue for $20 because Mine was $35 for GA online something convenience fee which is ridiculous to show the triplets do um meet and greet and which is like they do two meet and greets a later one and an early one and they also have small talk small talk is what it is like when you're getting to know someone you do small talk which is kind of like a little conversation and that's what you have with them um it does go by fast but that's because they have so many more people to go by and you're being three people remember that and then you have pictures which are very fast as well because i think you have to take pictures with like 400 people which is insane those pictures are like highs buys get your hugs and all that but i know many are frustrated with the pricing and the um amount of time you have with them which is understandable like it is expensive like if you just think 
if you don't really put much thought into it it is expensive but if you think about the amount of people that they need to pay on the tour and just all their equipment and all that like come on it's actually cheap compared to lots of um lots of other content creators uh gener okay like for the meet and greet the show 150 bucks okay let's just say that if you're not getting small talk you're meeting three people already okay not one usually just like one person for the show it's three you're getting the q a which is very fun uh, you're getting two shows and i heard people complain about the amount of time they were on stage i think they were on stage for a good amount of time um because they before that they were just spending a couple hours doing pictures so it's understandable for them to just not be on stage for a full hour uh, i'm not kissing ass i'm just saying facts just look at other content creators okay um i would suggest getting to the venue an hour earlier um that's what i did and i think it was a a good decision because like even though i still went in earlier i um still had a good spot in the line so come maybe once two hours earlier i would say okay merch they have merch there um prices are like same as online i think it was like 50 bucks for a sweatshirt 65 for a hoodie 25 for a shirt and i think it was 30 for the hat and then posters are ten dollars i believe so those are the prices on that sums it up if you guys do have more questions in the comment i will gladly answer them i hope none of the information i said came across came across as privileged because i understand people's situations i've been there so yeah i'm going to vidcon this year as well so that's exciting and they're also going to be there so um i hope to meet them there as well i think that's going to do it for this video a uh, short one but informative i hope i'll catch you guys next week leave a like drop a comment subscribe if you are new and you enjoy this content i love you all you're important you matter you're loved bye guys lost